Hey guys, this is Destiny. Welcome back to my videos. So today I'm going to go in a little bit more in depth of my medical history before I got to read migraine. Last video I did kind of a general overview of what I had gone through before getting to read migraine and then kind of my life situation after the procedure. Um, so today, like I said, I want to uh, kind of explain what I tried before coming to read migraine. Um, so it'll be a little bit more helpful to see, um, you know, other things that you've tried that maybe uh, would mean that you are a good candidate for this procedure. So um, back in 2012, I started having um, stomach pain, nausea, and severe headaches. So um, they started focusing on my stomach problems. Um, they diagnosed me with acid reflux, so they put me on a lot of medication for that. Um, and they did a couple of gastric emptying studies, um, which showed that my stomach wasn't functioning correctly, wasn't emptying correctly. Um, so I had a few rounds of Botox injections into my, uh, stomach muscle layer. Um, and that didn't really seem, um, like it helped much. Um, so they did a HIDA scan, um, the next month and they said, uh, it showed that my gallbladder wasn't functioning um, all the way. So I had my gallbladder removed that month, um, but still didn't relieve any of the symptoms that I was having. So the next month, they focused on my headaches. So I saw my ENT, and they um, did a CAT scan of my sinuses, and it showed that um, I had a blockage in my sinuses. So they uh, conducted a, a sinus procedure um, where they cleared all that out, but still didn't really help, didn't relieve any of my symptoms that I was having. So we went back to the stomach um, side. So I started seeing some GI specialists um, in my state and around the states uh, close to me, um, put me on a lot of medication, um, and they um, diagnosed me with gastroparesis and dyspepsia. But the medications that they tried um, and they used, the injections they used for those um, syndromes didn't do anything. So um, in the summer of 2013, um, we went, we focused more um, on the headache side. So um, my neurologist sent me um, to get a MRI of my brain and it showed that I had a what's called a Chiari malformation. So um, in that same month, I had decompression surgery um, where they removed a piece of my skull and part of C1 um, to relieve the pressure that was um, occurring um, in my head. Um, and I had a uh, had a lot more symptoms um, start coming up because of that Chiari. So all of the symptoms, um, the uh, stomach pain, the nausea, all that went away, but I was still left with that severe headache. So um, I started going to see neurologists um, in my state and around my state, um, started getting treated for that, um, but nothing seemed to help. Some of the um, treatments that I had was I had about 13 uh, rounds of nerve blocks. I had a couple of different rounds of trigger point injections, one round of Botox, um, and I had was admitted to physical therapy a couple of times to see if that would help the shoulder pain, see if maybe that would help, but nothing helped. Um, some of the nerve blocks, maybe the first couple of rounds seemed to help a little bit, but as soon as I was getting accustomed to that medication, it stopped working. Um, and so I was sent to a headache specialist in Dallas. Um, so he tried more medication. As far as the whole treatment plan, um, I was put on a lot of medications such as Midran, Elevil, Fioracet, Xanaflex, um, Topamax, Indocin, calcium, Florinef. Um, I was put on a round of ketamine injections. Um, I was put on Compazine, Toradol, um, a lot of different medications. I know one of the big medications around now is Amovig, but that wasn't around when I had migraines, so that wasn't one that I had tried. Um, they also diagnosed me with dysautonomia syndrome, but the medications, the treatments that they used for that, obviously still didn't work. 
Um, so after all of that, nothing seemed to work. My headache specialist in Dallas um, exhausted all of his resources, and he didn't know what else to give me, didn't know what else to treat me with. Um, so he referred me to Reed Migraine Center as my last option, um, and here I am. So I had the procedure, um, and it, like I said, it has changed my life. Um, in no way am I saying that you have to try every single thing that I tried before getting to read Migraine Center. Essentially, they say um, if you have recurring migraines, about 10 to 15 moderate to severe migraine or headaches per month for at least six months, and you have tried various treatment options and nothing has been successful for you, you are likely a good candidate for this procedure. So, like I said, if you have any questions, um, please let me know. If you want to know more about my personal experience and more of what I tried before getting to read migraine, uh, just let me know. My next video will probably be um, explaining what the actual procedure is. There's two steps to the procedure, a trial and a permanent. They do the trial um, before to see if it will actually work before they do the permanent procedure. Um, so, But I will explain more about that in my next video. What's the difference between the two? Uh, what does it mean if the trial is successful? Um, what do they do? That kind of thing. So if you have any questions, comment below. Or if you have a topic um, that you would like me to discuss through these videos, comment that as well. Have a good day.